In stark contrast, we turn to a different story now. Otto Warmbier passed away less than a week since North Korea released him from detainment. Pyongyang officials say the American student's death is a mystery to them as well. They've also denied accusations that Warmbier's brain injuries were from torture and beatings during captivity. The regime's foreign ministry spokesman, in comments carried by the reclusive state's official agency, called the 22-year-old a victim of the Obama administration's policy of strategic patience as the government never requested his release. He added the young man was released last week on humanitarian grounds in consideration of his bad health, then went on to criticize Hall for using Warmbier's case to seek the release of other detainees.